This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Hey guys, welcome to take two of the Mayhem Underground for this week, otherwise known as, formerly known as... Three that's right, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters here in the Pittsburgh PA, Sorgatron Media Studios, as well as Mundo Mad Mike up there on Pooh, Kipsy, New York. And we, we we are belated in our review, but we wanted we get it in. We're going to get our spots in. Okay, Mike? It's Absolutely. happening. Hashtag get my shit in. That's right. Or in, however, that is in Espanol. But anyways, we start off the show with... Oh. Sorg, Sorg, we have we have to start off the show like we always start off our show for Lucha Underground. Kuala su palabra para Lucha Underground. Yes, and your word is? My word, mi palabra, is unarmed. Unarmed. And mine was disarmed, so I'm changing mine to murdery. <laughs> murdery is a good way to go, Sorg. Mm-hmm. Murdery is a good way to go because, oh man, I believe. Have we had a murder on every week of Lucha this season? It feels like it. it, it really well, at least does. the last several, right? Yeah, there, there have been quite a few. Mm-hmm. There have been quite a few. Um, all right, so Sorg, why is too bueno para the Lucha Underground? My good for this week um, was that. I mean, it was definitely that main event. It was definitely Pentagon and Cage. It was all over the place, and uh, and ended in. I love that you can't break my arm. Going to down to no, I would just break both of your arms, and we just have the machine cage flopping around like a fish in the middle of the ring at the at the end of the show. <laughs> well, I mean, he didn't just bre- he didn't just use the arm breaker like. He actually like used a chair first, right? Well, yeah, yeah. So I mean, still, but but still, he got the job done, right? Oh yeah. Oh, I, he he got the job done uh, twice as well. Oh, and it's also funny. Uh, so we're getting this up today. Uh, I I, uh, I I should I should note that uh, Brian Cage recently uh, visited our friends in Cleveland and uh-huh. defended his Impact X Division Championship in Cleveland at Premier Championship Wrestling. Oh, good God. Yes, against the, the Fresh Prince of Midair. I don't know why they picked the guy from the Welterweight Wrestling to take on Brian Cage, but that happened, and it was a really good match. And and Rob, uh, cameraman Rob, was was kind of um, intimidated going into filming that show. <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, he comes out and you're just like, oh yeah, he's like wider than every wrestler in the roster, it seems. Um, as someone who has stood remotely near Brian Cage in person, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I, I get it. I believe I, I, was, I believe I've also seen him in action and it's just, it's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, he's, I don't know if he's a machine. I know he is not human exactly <laughs> but anyways um but no that was a fun match uh you know and and again we know a lot of the size of the lucha underground temple thanks to them going absolutely everywhere yes indeed um all right uh me bueno this week it's gonna have to go to um the haunted house match sork yes my wait before, wait wait i want to point i want to point out saw, we kind of called what was going to happen Yes. Or what um, this was going to be, the format that was going to be a cage with weapons and things. Like, I think I called out Raven's uh, House of Fun match back in TNA. Yes. Um, before the main event, my word for this week was going to be spooky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then I was like, oh, no, I'm going to I'd rather have a pun. So I love that we had. Like kind of not really spooky, and then we had actual spooky afterwards. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like, but the actual spookiness wasn't really part of the haunted house. Match. No, no, it wasn't. Absolutely not. Yeah. It's like it was a bait and switch. Be like, you thought that was 
spooky. Check out this murder shit we got up next. <laughs> oh God, we're, all right, we're do you feel like? Wait, let's roll back for the for moment. Do you well, feel like there talk, was? Let's talk about the house horror. Well, Not, no, 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 I want to horror. talk about the murder. <laughs> Do you feel? Do you feel like there's some cathartic uh, uh, thing against lawyers that happened with somebody on that staff <laughs> to shoot that scene? Potentially, like it was like nothing. It might was, also be why they killed cops. It's been like nothing has been that murdery. Like, it was. It was. All right, let, let's let, for those of you who didn't watch. And first and foremost, why the fuck are you listening to this? Second and foremoster. Why the fuck aren't you watching Lucha Underground? Mm -hmm. You need to be watching it. Absolutely. Um, so we, we go to the Worldwide Underground, who are in the back, and um, they're exchanging wedding gifts a couple weeks early. For whatever reason, I'm assuming they're trying to avoid what happened to the Macho Man and Elizabeth. Good planning. Good planning. Good planning. I get it. That's fine. Um <laughs> Taya got a picture of Johnny, which was great. Um, and Taya got Johnny a Lucha Underground title match for the week after the wedding. Mm hmm. Interesting. Um, but uh, Ricky that is a hell of a gift registry right there. What? It's a hell of a gift registry right there. Um, what? What did Jack? What did Jack Evans get Taya? I'm trying to remember. Um. It, damn it it was something really funny too and i can't remember what it was but um so ricky mundo was standing guard because he apparently wasn't allowed at the party mm -hmm. uh the the uh, agent or lawyer i believe i cannot remember his name for the life of me i've been trying to rack my brains about it cannot remember his name for the life of me but uh he was going to go to the party because he was on the list and ricky mundo said oh no we don't see your name on the list at all and then, of course, uh, the, the creepy doll said, we don't like him. Let's do what we did to Angelico. And Ricky takes a pen and just repeatedly stabs this guy in the fucking head. Like, over and over and over again. Like, Patrick Bateman style. Wow. It was pretty great. <laughs> Murdery. Murdery, yes. yes. All right. But sorry, back to the format. While as to Malo, Pato Lucha Underground. Mm, I wasn't prepared for the murder. <laughs> if, you know, I, sometimes. Sorry, are you ever really there's prepared something, for murder? You know, I, I watch Lucha Underground like Thursday mornings here in the office. And where's other kind of co-workers of other companies uh, adjacent to our office? And, and, and producer Missy is often working, you know, pretty much right beside me. Doing her thing, you know, actually being productive while I watch pro wrestling. And uh and uh sometimes there's just like me just yelling, Oh shit. And, <laughs> yeah, that was one of those moments. Hey, some people can be productive while they're watching pro wrestling. Hey uh -huh. me during <laughs> Raw. <laughs> um, Meemaw this week, it's gotta go to um to uh poor Melissa Santos being taken out. Yeah, and then we get Famous B. <laughs> okay, Famous B <laughs> saying, I'm your commentator, and coming out next, oh boy. Oh, sh no, no, he didn't say, oh boy. He said, coming to the ring. Oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> because he was introducing the savage Jake Strong. So even, even with the bad, there comes a good in Lucha Underground. Absolutely. Because I did appreciate that uh, Melissa Santos was actually finally wearing the pendant. Mm -hmm. I gave her because I was asking for that a couple weeks ago. But um, then she got her ass kicked. Which, I mean, you know, I guess it, it reminded me of the last year of Ready to Rumble where if you're a female Ooh. ringside, you never want to stand too close to the cage. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it makes sense, I guess. Um, so if you had a combio this week, what would your combio be? Hold on, I'm trying to remember that the reference for Ready to Rumble. But anyways, when combio. Rose McGowan got hit in the face with a ladder. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. She was in that movie. Yeah, she wow. was. Wow. Why was she in that? Okay, she was the Nitro Girl. Oh, oh wow. 
And then okay. and then they tried to play her off that she was blowing the owner of WCW and that she was the quote unquote head nitro girl. That was a joke in that movie. You think she'd be available for our nitro parties? Sure. Well, we'll see what we can do. Anyways, uh my change for this week uh would be Um man, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't you know, know what I want to change on this. <laughs> like I don't know what I want to change on this. Like what do you want? Like I, okay, all right. Rather than the gift exchange, I wanted to see like the worldwide underground bachelor party. Oh yes. Okay, right? I'm all in. Like, and I'm I don't know what I don't know what that interpret. Right? I don't know what that interpretation would be. Right. Like I don't think it's just a blatant. They're at a strip club, or maybe it's just they're at a strip club and like Ty is there too, right? Something like that. Okay, okay, I All like right. it. And and one of the strippers, Exolicious. Oh, there you go. I mean, you would have so Jack many Evans. opportunities. See, there. see, right there. I'm not gonna say we wrote it for you, but we kind of wrote it for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so Rick O'Shea, um. <laughs> But uh, Father Ricochet, I, any, any, but no, like that, that, that'd be my change. Cause it, like, again, it's weird. The gift giving before the, the wedding and you know, I, I, yeah. Yeah. It's almost like they think the wedding won't happen or there's might be some, some foul play going. I mean, why would a, why would a, a, a wedding in a wrestling ring go? Oh boy. I don't even want to know. Like, side so note, can I can I, do, can I do what I want for the wedding? I don't care who it is. I just want somebody to pop their head through the ring like Kane did that one time. I want it to be Kane. <laughs> I want it to be Mayor Glenn Jacobs. <laughs> like, I, I want Kane's head to just pop up, pop up, and have it be like the old Bugs Bunny cartoons. Like, Whoop. this isn't Pismo Beach. And he just pops his head back down and burrows away. <laughs> A little burrow lump across fact, the ring. We have someone that can do that because we got a goddamn rabbit tribe. We do. He can pop up. Yeah, he can pop up and and do something. So yeah. What, what's your what's your combio? Oh, my combio this week. I would have had someone else to feed to Jake Strong other than Aerostar. Yeah, Aerostar deserves better than that. That's one of those, oh, they grow them big in WWE moments. Yeah, but Jake Strong, still he still seems like he's a step or two behind everyone. Mm-hmm. Like, this isn't, the, this isn't the Jack Swagger that wrestled Rey Mysterio in, like, 2008. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's just ring rust. It very well might be. I mean, not, maybe TV ring rust, you know? Yeah. You hear that, or, you know, he, he's up against Aerostar and that he's a fast motherfucker. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Could be. It's a different environment. So who knows? Indeed. Indeed. It very much is. Like I don't want to say he's full on like going like Hernandez yet, but he's kinda like Jake Strong is not growing on me. Like I thought he would. So I like Jack Swagger. But we, we I need a backstage segment because Jack Swagger is funny as hell. Mm-hmm. I need something to establish that name more. Why is he Jake Strong? And why is he his name Jake? Why is he Savage? Mm-hmm. That's what I want to know. Because mm-hmm. I haven't seen him do anything Savage yet. I mean, some suplexes. That's cool. Yeah, but you know what? We have a guy who's a literal machine out there. <laughs> Ooh. And, and the Savage Jake Strong is, is going to be fighting a for real dragon pretty soon. Like one that spits fire and flies. Mm-hmm. We're gonna we're gonna need to kick it up a notch there, Swags. Like now, here here's what will be great if somehow the savage Jake Strong can like hold his hand in the air and call upon the savage soaring eagle. Jeez, <laughs> guy in the oh they bring back the guy in the eagle suit. Uh, yeah. Alex is Alex has mentioned that we are going to get a no moss match this week. Ooh, yeah, we are against Jack Evans and Exolicious. Oh boy! Uh huh. And uh, back to your point, that 
bachelor party would have set it up perfectly. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to that. Well, it was another great Lucha this week. Yes, indeed. Um, uh, Lucha, I, I do not know when I will be getting to my live tweet uh, this week, as I mentioned on the Raw wrap-up. I am going to be seeing Harry Potter and the Cursed Child on Wednesday. Hmm. Um, yeah, so I uh, will expect to see a no Moss match break out during that as well. I don't know. It, it, it's got magic. Why not? That seems uh, right. But I definitely will be live tweeting Lucha at some point. So keep an eye on at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM. All right. And, of course, uh, keep an eye out. Let's say our schedule has been a little weird for us to get these shows together. But check out everything over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And please go check out the new news over at IndieWrestling.us. We have a new IndieWrestling.us network that's just started up as of this recording. Uh, it's going to include a uh, you know, seven-day free trial. It includes Rise Wrestling with a Y. Our friends in Ohio with uh, Pro Wrestling Ohio, Old Sportsnet Ohio uh, episodes, um, as well as our friends Duke and uh, Duke and Doe's Hardcore Memories. Two professional wrestlers talking about ECW. Some with a little more experience than the others than the other in actual with the ecw guys uh it's been a fun uh, first two episodes of that i hope you guys check it out and let us know what you think of those kinds of things and please support it. start your seven day free trial over at indie wrestling.us for the indie wrestling us network and of course uh, we'll be on uh at 9 p.m eastern time on facebook live Every Tuesday this week, Joe Dombrowski of Ring of Honor's Future of Honor joins us, uh, as well as pro of Premier Wrestling and Premier Championship Wrestling in Ohio and Cleveland, uh, which I just saw their show this past weekend. We'll be talking about their anniversary of the promotion and so much more, and it's probably going to be talking a lot of All In this week, to be honest. So, uh, Yeah, I actually have off on Saturday, so I plan on... Um, first of all, trying to figure out how to watch it. Secondly, watching it. Hot damn. I, there's actually a link that just got shared. I saw in another group. I will have to pass your way on how to watch it. Absolutely. Because I have no fucking idea what fight TV is. So. Uh, oh, you don't? We, dude, we, it was okay. I want to talk to you afterwards because it was a sponsor on our show Ring for a while. Honor. What's that? Don't watch Ring of Honor. I know, but we, anyways, you go fight TV and you figure it out. Anyway, we're not, they're not advertising them. Damn it. Uh, but anyways, keep an eye out. Lots of going on. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us on the Mayhem Underground, also formerly known as The Mid Week War. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. <laughs>